Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about Engineering, Procurement Construction, EPC, dot, Design Bid Build, DBB, dot, Design Build Operate, DBO, dot, Build Own Operate Transfer, Boot, dot, and about risk, cost, and time. Structures for desalination projects, importance of selecting the right project delivery method to ensure project success, the type of the selected contracting method mainly depends on, type of owner, public agency or private entity, the project risk profile, owner's experience with similar projects, the source of project funding, bonds, equity, or a mixture of these funding sources. The main contract models used up today are Engineering, Procurement Construction, EPC, Design Bid Build, DBB, Design Build Operate, DBO, Build Own Operate Transfer, Boot. What is EPC? EPC means Integrated Engineering, Procurement and Construction Contracting. EPC Contractor delivers project on turnkey basis. Client benefits include better risk management, consolidated responsibility, drives ownership of project lifecycle. Design Bid Build, DBB, DBB Project Delivery Method. The DBB method is a traditional project delivery approach where the owner contracts separately with a designer, architect slash engineer, and a contractor. The designer completes the design and documents the project in detail, creating a set of construction drawings and specifications. The owner then solicits bids from contractors, selects one, and enters into a construction contract. The contractor builds the project according to the design. Document Advantages of DBB, the owner has control over the design and can specify the materials, equipment, and methods to be used. The design is typically completed before construction begins, reducing the risk of changes and delays during construction. The bidding process can result in competitive pricing and value engineering opportunities. The owner can have multiple contractors bid on the project, providing a wider selection of construction firms to choose from. Disadvantages of DBB The sequential nature of the process can result in a longer overall project duration. The owner assumes greater risk for the design including any errors or omissions that may occur. There may be less collaboration between the designer and contractor, leading to potential conflicts or misunderstandings during construction. Any changes or modifications to the design documents after the bid process may result in additional costs and delays. Application of DBB in SWRO projects. DBB is a commonly used project delivery method for SWRO projects, particularly for large-scale facilities with complex design requirements. The method is well suited for projects where the owner has a clear vision for the design and wants to maintain control over the construction process. It is also useful for projects with a competitive bidding process, where the owner wants to ensure the best value for their investment. Project Delivery Methods Cost D 
DBB has the potential for lower costs due to the competitive bidding process. Timeline DBB may take longer than other project delivery methods because the design phase is separate from the construction phase. Risk DBB places more risk on the owner because they are responsible for selecting the design and construction teams. Design Build Operate DBO Project Delivery Methods in a DBO project, a single entity, usually a private company or consortium, is responsible for the entire project lifecycle from design to construction to operation and maintenance. The entity is typically selected through a competitive bidding process and signs a long-term contract with the client, often a government agency or utility. Advantages of DBO The client has a single point of contact for the entire project, which can simplify communication decision-making. The contractor has greater flexibility to optimize the design for long-term operational efficiency, since they will also be responsible for operating the plant. There may be opportunities for cost savings and innovation since the contractor is incentivized to reduce operating costs over the long term. Disadvantages of DBO The client gives up some control over the design and construction process and may have limited input on certain aspects of the project. There may be concerns about conflicts of interest, since the contractor is responsible for both designing and operating the plant. DBO projects may require a longer contract term and more complex financing arrangements than other project delivery methods. Application of DBO in SWRO projects DBO is a common project delivery method in the water industry and is often used for large-scale SWRO projects. DBO can be particularly attractive for SWRO projects because it allows the contractor to optimize the design for long-term operating efficiency, which can result in lower costs and improved performance. Project Delivery Methods Cost DBO has the potential for higher costs because the design and construction teams are the same and may have less incentive to control costs. Timeline DBO has the potential for shorter timelines because the design and construction teams are working together. Risk DBO places more risk on the contractor because they are responsible for the operation of the project. Build, Own, Operate, Transfer, Boot, Project Delivery Methods Boot is a long-term contractual agreement between a private sector company and a public sector entity or utility. The private sector company designs finances, constructs, owns, operates, and maintains the SWRO facility for a predetermined period, typically 20 to 30 years. At the end of the contract period, ownership of the facility is transferred to the public sector entity. Advantages of boot the private sector company assumes most of the financial risks and responsibilities associated with the project, including financing, construction, operation, and maintenance. Boot provides a long-term revenue stream for the private sector company. Boot can be attractive to public sector entities with limited financial resources or technical expertise. Disadvantages of boot, 
boot projects can have higher overall costs due to private sector financing and profit margins. Boot projects can have limited public sector control and oversight over the facility's operation and maintenance. Boot projects can result in public sector entities assuming full responsibility for the facility's operation and maintenance at the end of the contract period. Application of Boot in SWRO Projects Boot can be a suitable delivery method for SWRO projects that require significant capital investment and long-term operation maintenance. Boot can be attractive to public sector entities that lack technical expertise or financial resources to design, construct, operate, and maintain an SWRO facility. Boot can provide a long-term revenue stream for private sector companies that specialize in water treatment. Project Delivery Methods Cost Boot has the potential for higher costs because the private entity must earn a profit from the project. Timeline Boot has the potential for shorter timelines because the private entity is motivated to complete the project quickly. Risk. Boot places more risk on the private entity because they are responsible for the operation and maintenance of the project. Project delivery methods. Factors to consider when selecting a project delivery method for SWRO projects, project size and complexity, availability of financing, experience and expertise of the project team, owner's risk tolerance, project goals and objectives. Comparison, DBB versus DBO versus boot, DBB, design bid build, in design phase, design is completed by an architect slash engineer, in construction phase, contractor is selected through a bidding process, ownership, owner retains ownership of the project, in operation phase, owner is responsible for operation and maintenance. DBO, Design build operate, in design phase, design and construction are completed by a single entity, in construction phase, single entity owns the project during construction and operations phases, ownership, single entity is responsible for operation and maintenance, in operation phase. Owner is responsible for operation and maintenance. Boot, build own operate transfer, in design phase, design, construction, and ownership are all completed by a single entity. In construction phase, single entity owns the project during operation phase, ownership. Single entity is responsible for operation and maintenance, and then transfers ownership to the owner at the end of a specified period. Thank you for watching this video.